Hey there! Today is your favorite video. Today is the day when I show the review of new Pelican puzzles that will be released in a couple of weeks. And I think this video will be hard to film since I have one annoying friend here who doesn't let me film today. Mitako! No, it is not my dog. My wife's friend went on vacation and left us Taco for five days. And now I have to deal with it. Pelican will have nine puzzles in the next release. Actually eight, since uh, two puzzles are exactly the same, but they are made in a completely different combination of woods and that makes them look like completely different puzzle as well. As always, I don't know the exact date when the puzzles will be released. Probably by the end of the next week, maybe in two, maximum three weeks, uh, you will find them at Pelican's website. Link is gonna be in a video description. And maybe in a month or so, you will find uh, some of these puzzles uh, on other puzzle shops as well. I'll put links as soon as they will be available there. It is always difficult to choose which puzzle to show you first, but this time it wasn't an issue at all, since there is one puzzle that looks completely different and it is one of my favorite in this release. It is Bison Puzzle. It was designed by Jack Kreine. It is made of two different types of wood, American walnut and maple. And two little horns are not the only pieces that are made from maple. There is another piece hidden inside the bison. Uh, it has a small uh, message on it, so you have to take the bison apart, remove the small piece, then put it back inside and reassemble the uh, bison. It is a you know, Kumiko style puzzle. That means that this puzzle is not going to be difficult to solve, but it is a very beautiful one. I was very surprised to see it in one of the boxes when I uh, got it from Pelican. And I think it is so good looking that it will be sold out in like 30, maybe 40 minutes after it will be released. So if you want to have a copy of this beautiful bison puzzle, follow my YouTube channel and Instagram. I'll keep you updated on the release date. The next puzzle was designed by Asanori Yamamoto. The name of it is Den Cube. It was made using two different types of wood, maple and garappa. This puzzle has three parts, three exactly the same parts, and a frame that looks exactly the same from each side. Doesn't matter how you rotate it, it still looks exactly the same. And as you can see, the pieces are quite easy to move, but that doesn't mean that it will be easy to figure out the solution. This puzzle is not so easy, even though the pieces are exactly the same. You still have to figure out the correct sequence of moves in order to remove them from the frame. It's a second in a row release from Pelican where we don't see Asanori Yamamoto's packing puzzles where you have to fit parts inside the uh, cube frame with openings. Hope Pelican will do some in the next release. I think that you can guess the name of the next puzzle. It is a Christmas tree from Stefan Baumager. This puzzle was made using three different types of wood. Maple for the stand that comes with a small magnet. You can remove it to solve the puzzle or you can put it back so that you can put it on a display. Uh, the other two uh, woods are acacia and garappa. Garappa are quite small pieces that looks like ornament on Christmas tree. This puzzle is uh, a similar style of puzzle like uh, bison. Uh, you have to take it apart and reassemble it again. But here it will be much more challenging to find the first piece that you have to remove. And it took me quite some time uh, because of the interesting design and the perfect craftsmanship from Pelican, it was not so easy to do. And it is right about time when Pelican released this puzzle, since probably a lot of people uh, want to have this beautiful puzzle as a Christmas gift. The next puzzle was designed by Lucy Powells. This time we have a lot of designers. Usually Pelican uh, releases uh, puzzles by three or four designers. Uh, this time we have seven. So the uh, puzzle that I have in my hands called Serpentarium by Lucy Powells. It is made of two different types of wood, Paduk and Venge. The Venge pieces are quite dark and probably you don't really see what is happening in the middle. This puzzle is solved now, but it comes disassembled in unsolved state. So you have to figure out the way how to fit all parts inside the frame. What's make this puzzle uh, quite unusual is that the size of the walls of the frame are exactly uh, the size of the voxels inside. So it looks quite unusual. Now I'll remove all parts uh, from inside so that I can show you the shape of them. So here are all parts that come with this puzzle. There are six of them here. Two are quite unusual. This one is very small. It is only one voxel size. This one has two voxels. Uh, feels like uh, these two parts were used just to fill the gaps inside the uh, cube. 
And these four parts are quite large and quite challenging to fit. Usually when the piece has this like a W shape, it is very challenging to fit it inside the cube. And when the puzzle has two similar pieces, even maybe three, if you look at this one, that becomes a nightmare. It is very difficult to find the uh, correct assembling of uh, all pieces. As you know, usually I solve these type of puzzles outside the frame and then I try to fit them inside when I find the correct uh, assembling. This puzzle has more than one way how to put all parts together, but only one of them will fit inside the frame. So it is quite challenging, but very interesting puzzle to solve. The next puzzle is the smallest one in the release. It was designed by Christoph Loya. The name of the puzzle is Mini Lock 2. It is the second version of the Mini Lock puzzle. The first one was also released by Pelican a while ago, but as I remember, it had no key. This puzzle was made using three different types of wood, Purple Heart, Ash and Garappa. This puzzle has five parts, uh, four pieces and the frame. And the objective of the puzzle is obviously to take it apart and reassemble it again. When you remove this piece, you will find it has numbers written on it, uh, which says that this puzzle will be released uh, in 110 copies and I have number 11 out of 110. This puzzle will be very popular and I think it will be sold out even quicker than the Bison puzzle, which looks amazing. But I've uh, heard from puzzle collectors that they are waiting for the mini lock. Yeah, it will be sold out very quick. The next two puzzles were designed by one of my favorite puzzle designers, Dr. Volker Latusek. The name of this puzzle is 2-2. You will find why this puzzle has its name as soon as I remove all pieces from the frame. This puzzle was made using two different types of wood, American Walnut and Zebrano. And the objective of the puzzle is to fit all four parts inside the frame so that no pieces will be sticking out from the frame. This puzzle is Volker's tribute to the famous 4L puzzle by Yasuhiro Hashimoto and that's like a huge spoiler if you know what is 4L puzzle. If you take a closer look at the pieces you will find that two of them are letter T looks like letter T and two of them looks like letter U and if you put them like this it will be 2-2. And you have to find a way how to fit all pieces inside the frame. As always, Volker pays a lot of attention to uh, the appearance of his puzzle. And as you saw, the pieces, when they were inside, they made letter T on the surface of the frame. And the solution is incredible. I solved this puzzle. It is totally Dr. Volker Latusek style. And you're not going to be disappointed. Great puzzle. The name of the next puzzle is Ronde. Uh, it has five parts and that is exactly the way how Volker told me to present the puzzle. Put parts together in uh, such a shape that it looks like kind of a snake. This puzzle uh, was made using two different types of wood, Venge and Garappa. If you take a closer look, you will find that we have five cubes made of Venge and only four cubes made of Garappa and two pieces uh, that are made also from Garappa, but they are like half of the cube, they look like a triangle. The objective of this puzzle is quite interesting. You have to make five Garappa cubes. It is not difficult to make five Venge pieces, since they are already made and they are always here presented. But when you try to uh, make five Garappa pieces, you will find that it is not so easy to do. You can probably make one, two, three maybe even four, but then you are left with uh, two triangles. You can rearrange the parts, try to uh, put them in a different way, but again, you will be able to make four Garappa pieces, but not five. So it's very challenging puzzle and it took me quite some time before I found the correct solution. This puzzle is very similar to another puzzle that was designed by Dr. Volker Latusek and made by Pelican. The PMRU puzzle, it was released a couple of years ago by Pelican. And the last two puzzles were designed by Alphonse Eichmanns. The name of the puzzle on the left is Moose Classic and the one on the right is Moose Extra. Both of the puzzles are exactly the same, even though they look a little bit different. The solution of the puzzles is completely the same. The type of woods uh, used to make the puzzle are exactly the same. Purple Heart, Maple and American Walnut but they have a little bit different appearance since uh, a different combination of woods was used to 
uh, make this puzzle and it, it makes it look a little bit more fancy when the uh, Moose Classic looks more like a classic version of puzzle of this type from Pelican. These puzzles, actually it is the same puzzle, so this puzzle is uh, very difficult to solve. It requires 25 steps to remove the first piece and many more steps to remove the rest of the parts, but the most challenging part will be the assembling. It is usually much more difficult in this type of puzzles than the disassembling. This puzzle has its name because it has a moose hidden inside. If I find the correct two pieces, I will show you. These are the horns of the moose and exactly the same you will find in the moose extra. I haven't though solved this puzzle yet since it requires a lot of time and patience to solve it, but I'll try to solve it very soon. These were nine puzzles that you will find in the next Pelican release. If you want to know the exact date, subscribe to my Instagram, to my YouTube channel. I'll uh, do an announcement a little bit later when I have more information. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite puzzle from the next Pelican release and which of these puzzles are you planning to buy. I'm wondering if you noticed that we are missing puzzles from a puzzle designer who was in each and every Pelican's release in the last like 12 months. What is the name of the puzzle designer? Let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. Like, subscribe and see you in my next video.